Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're preparing for an SAP Fiery interview or just want to brush up on your skills, you're in the right place. Today, we are diving into the top 15 SAP Fiery interview questions and answers designed to give you the confidence to tackle even the toughest interviews. Each answer is crafted like how you'd respond in a real interview, confident, clear, and straight from experience. So, grab a notepad and let's get into it. 1. What is SAP Fiery? Answer Sure. SAP Fiery is a user experience, UX, design approach by SAP that provides a consistent, responsive, and simple interface across all devices. It's based on HTML5 and follows a role based model, delivering only the relevant information and actions for the user. 2. What are the key principles of SAP Fiori design? Answer. As per my understanding, SAP Fiori is based on five key principles, role-based, responsive, simple, coherent, and delightful. These principles ensure that the user interface is intuitive and enhances productivity. 3. Can you explain the architecture of SAP Fiori? Answer. Absolutely. Fiori runs on the front end using SAPUI 5 framework. It communicates with the backend via Odata services exposed from the SAP gateway. The backend typically is in SAP ECC or S4 HANA system. SAP NetWeaver Gateway plays a crucial role in this architecture. 4. What is the difference between SAP Fiori and SAPUI 5? Answer. Great question. SAPUI 5 is the development framework used to build Fiori apps. So while SAPUI 5 is the technology, SAP Fiori is the design paradigm. All Fiori apps are built using SAPUI 5, but not all SAPUI 5 apps follow the Fiori guidelines. Now here's another frequently asked one. 5. What is Odata and why is it important in SAP Fiori? Answer. Odata, Open Data Protocol, is essential for communication between the front-end and back-end. It enables CRUD operations in Fiori apps. I've personally worked on customizing Odata services using SHW in the back-end system. 6. How do you launch a Fiori app? Answer. There are multiple ways via the Fiori launcher path through a direct URL, or embedded within SAP GUI for HTML. The most common and user-friendly method is through the launcher bug, which provides a tile-based interface. 7. What is the Fiori launcher bug? Answer. The launcher bug is a web-based entry point to access Fiori apps. It's role-based and highly customizable. I've configured catalogs, groups, and tiles using the LaunchPad designer to match business roles. Next up, a key question you should definitely be ready for. 8. How do you handle authentication in Fiery apps? Answer. Authentication is handled via SAP NetWeaver or S4 HANA using single sign-on, SSO, or username password-based methods. In one of my projects, I integrated SAMA-based SSO for a seamless user experience. 9. What is the difference between catalogs and groups in Fiori? Answer. Catalogs are collections of apps assigned to roles, while groups are what the end user sees on the launcher pad. Catalogs are more technical and used for authorization, whereas groups handle the UI layout. 10. What are smart controls in SAP Fiori? Answer. Smart controls like smart tables, smart filters, and smart forms are UI5 controls that automatically generate UI based on annotations in Odata services. They significantly reduce development time and ensure consistency. 11. How do you perform Fiery app extension or customization? Answer. I usually use the SAP Web ID or Bus for App extensions. There are multiple extension points like View, Controller, and I18N, 
depending on the customization required. I once extended a standard Fiery app to include additional input fields and validations. Moving forward, here's the next one you might face. 12. How do you debug a Fiery app? Answer. I use browser developer tools like Chrome DevTools for front-end debugging. For back-end, I use transaction codes like IWFND error underscore log or IWBEP error underscore log. It's important to test both ends to identify where the issue lies. 13. What is the role of SAP Gateway in Fiori? Answer. SAP Gateway acts as a bridge between front-end and back-end. It exposes back-end data as auditor services, which are then consumed by the Fiori apps. I often use SEGW to model and register auditor services. 14. What are SAP Fiori elements? Answer. Fiori elements are predefined templates for creating consistent and responsive apps using annotations. They allow rapid development with minimal coding. I use the list report and object page templates in a recent S4 HANA project. 15. How do you transport Fiori apps from development to production? Answer. I use standard SAP transport requests for backend changes and UI5 apps stored in BSP applications. For front-end apps developed in Web ID, we export import the app or use Git integration depending on the landscape setup. That wraps up our top 15 SAP Fiori interview questions. I hope this helped boost your confidence and cleared up some important concepts. Whether you're just starting out or brushing up for an interview, these Q and AM as are your stepping stones to success. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or colleagues preparing for SAP interviews. Don't forget to drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. And of course, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss out on our upcoming tech and career content. See you in the next one.